Harvard, Virginia, home to James Madison, father of the Constitution, and mother of some of the most electric crowds in all of college football when they come out to support the Dukes. Today, a couple of Sunbelt rivals ready to square off. As we'll see, the Coastal Carolina shot the clears, taking on the James Madison Dukes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Dukes will boot it away to start the game. And he's going to bring it out. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The shot to clear's offense takes the field to start this game off. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. You want to settle everybody in on the road? You want to take the nerves away? Run the football. Really, really good job. The offensive line, they're physical and nasty. They're not nervous. They're not worried about this crowd getting loud. They just want to hit you right in the mouth, and they started the game off with some good physicality. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this team tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Power football with the run. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, it's Vasco. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll pull it down and run. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the quarterback's in the pocket, and he decides to take off and scramble and just couldn't get to the first down marker. You could tell he wanted to pass the football. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe he scrambled a little bit too soon. But usually when you take off, you better know you're going to get close to that first down marker or get it. They tried to mess him up with the pressure, but he got it away cleanly. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. So James Madison's offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. And the Dukes headed quickly to the line. On second down, looking again to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. A lot of urgency for this offense. On the ground, going for the first down with the gift to the tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Dukes have it with a first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. He hurls one deep down the left side. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30-plus. 
Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Handoff from the gun. Powers through the defender. Defense holds their ground. Pickup of a yard. It's at the 26. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Quick completion on the out. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And man coverage, when they get up in your face, they make things hard. You want to be able to attack the whole field and get them lean in one direction and then break outside like you did there. Nice out route connection. Nice chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. On third and short, the power run here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early on this opening drive for them. They're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. Going up top on first down. He caught it. And he will score! Touchdown, James Madison! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They'll go to the ground. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got his man downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs, and having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll leave it with him. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the air. It's Vasco. Fires to the wideout. On target over the middle. They get him down at the 49, but not before he picks up 15. 
Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. And the shot to clears are on the move. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Makes the grab. It's Bennett. The spin. Still on his feet. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage, but you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. From the gun, the running back has it. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Quickly complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. From the shotgun, the inside give. Pulled down after a pickup of three. Balls at the 13. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to run for it. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inch, you just have to go execute, and they do it there. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And he gets it back to the four-yard line. No farther than that. No gain on the play. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counterpunch and attack this defense? And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And this one splits the uprights. That makes the score. James Madison, 7, Coastal Carolina, 3. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. 
They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. Put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Out of the gun to give to the back. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk after the 30-yard line. Well, that didn't bust for a long time. Now, third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. Guys, it's James Madison on top as we've come to the end of the quarter. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. And the Dukes will have it first and ten. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Going to try to get it himself. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Runs first down, and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. The Dukes are in the hurry up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll go with a direct snap. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. The offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. He's got it. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. To the air on first down. Pressure coming. They get it up flush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, no, no. We're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. They've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. 
Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. It's a draw. Oh, what a move! And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. Now, fourth down. They're going to go for it on fourth down with a couple of good options. A first down or a touchdown. They'll try to pick up the first. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Duke! Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went looked so good on that last drive. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11 point lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive and close the deal with a three yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Off play action on first down. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. They'll run play action. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. And you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick. And because of the hit, incomplete pass. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Looking for a man. It's Vasco. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stub, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. The shot that clears will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll feel the punt and try to get some yardage. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Dumps it off in the flats. Nifty little dance step. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep an eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. And the Dukes want to pick up the tempo. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. 
On third down, he drops to throw. Wide open downfield. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. This tight end is such a weapon because he can line up all over the field. That time he starts in the slot, he's running the corner route against zone coverage, and he's just got athleticism and wiggle and the ability to separate and make big plays. So nice to have a target like that. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Hudson. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. The Dukes are rolling down the field. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, James Madison! What a catch and run for six! Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Want to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. He finds his man. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Didn't help themselves much on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 20. Scanning the field, it's Vasco. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there on the curl route. Nice job by the receiver finding the soft spot in zone and just settling down, making that throw a whole bunch easier. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. That's caught. It's Tucker. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Let's see what they've got on second down. He'll pull it on the read. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through, and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. And you just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. Second down coming up. From the gun, running back on the move. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. 
Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Direct snap. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Dropping back, it's Vasco. A strike downfield. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And maybe the other team doesn't even get a chance to answer. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Set to advance on the football. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. That's caught. It's Knight. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Set up for second and short after that completion. Back to throw, it's Morris. And they got him for the sack. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see his zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Gets it out fast. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed? After he made his break, he was able to actually separate a little from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Coastal. 
And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, the touchdown, they cut it. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And here's the return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. I know it wasn't an interception, but a lot of times tips and deflections leads to interceptions. Great job by the defender getting his mitt on the football. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Dukes will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. To the air. It's Basco. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He'll off one deep down the left side. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've had yourselves a great broadcast so far today in Harrisonburg. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Bridge Ford Stadium. And the shot to clears will line up to kick off and start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that route. 
The Dukes want to crank the tempo. Looking to throw, it's Morris. Flips it out to the back. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. After the short completion, do they go for the big one on third down? From the gun, wants to pass. He lobs one high down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Dukes will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Scrambling away. At midfield, he's got room. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. Now on first down from the 43. Here's the handoff. Still on his feet. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. They'll throw it from the red zone. Steps away. Got some room and entered the goal line. Touchdown, shot to clear. They look finished, but they're all the way back, and they have the lead. And I love the decisiveness by the quarterback on that play. Nobody opened downfield. I'm going to go get this myself. And I'm not just going to go get a first down. I'm taking this thing to the house. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score came on an impressive run from the 20. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. Caught in the backfield, it's Knight. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. The Dukes want to move quickly. Looking for a man, it's Morris. Using the quick game. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. And quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Facing a third down and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. 
Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. And the Dukes will Number send out the punt unit. On to kick it away. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They go to the ground. Quick step and go. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Line getting set on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The shot that clears look to keep this drive humming. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but... That usually equals a first down every couple carries, so don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest, pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but... There's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that guy. Line is set on third down. Looking to pass. It's Vasco. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your in-field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. Well, that kid just showed up. His hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. I like the idea on offense. You want to get this guy the football in as many ways as possible. So you throw him the screen quickly to see if he can make somebody miss. Doesn't work there, but that should not be the last time you run that play. The Dukes moving quickly to the line. On second down, he'll let it fly. 
snagged in the middle. It's Thompson. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Fires to the right. He makes the catch. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stemming, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. That's reeled in. It's Hudson. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. Man, this guy is so dynamic, and that's why you want to try to get him the ball as many ways as you can. That time, it's a screen throw, and he had some nice blocks downfield, but with his speed and elusive running ability, this dude is dangerous. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the change. It's first down at the 27. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. Right back to the well. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. Brings up second down. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Back to pass, it's Morris. Coming after him. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. And the Dukes come to the line in the hurry up. He's looking to throw on third and short. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. The ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And it's right down the boulevard. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Coastal Carolina has it. The shot to clear offense headed back to the field. On the run, it's Bennett. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. 
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air, it's Vasco. Fires to the big fella. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Full start, Full start. Full start. Full start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll move it back, and it's first and 15 for this offense. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. And I love the fundamentals by the quarterback on that last completion. That's four verticals. And if you're going to complete that ball down the seam, you've got to be able to freeze the safety in the middle of the field and not telegraph the throw. That's exactly what the QB did. Nice job. And the shot to clear has come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. He makes the connection. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And that's a situation right there where the quarterback is just taking what the defense gives him. The defense has taken everything away down the field. Just take the easy throw underneath. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. Out of the gun, the inside give. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. Well, they get another big run for a first down. And if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And that's just mano y mano. Receiver one-on-one -on -one man coverage. He's got to win. He's got to get back and cross the defender's face, fight back to the football, make the catch to pick up that first down. The Duke in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Morris. It's on target and complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. They want to get this defense on its heels.
Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Ooh, and I love the running back here, running into the blitz. He saw the extra defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground and make a miss. That was a good play. A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Penny. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Gives it to the back on the draw. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the score. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Part of the backfield. It's Hudson. The pass on second down. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Dropping back, it's Morris. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. This is a no-brainer right now. After that incompletion, trailing by what you are, in this area of the field, fourth and short, just kick the field goal. It's what you need to give yourself a chance to win. So now we'll Number line up for one of the biggest on kicks the of this game. And for the second time, they'll go for the field goal. The first one was good, and they'll try from 42. Between the uprights, it's good. And here in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Brings up second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Leaves it with the back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Now they'll run the draw. And the ball's on the ground. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, what a blow for this offense. You got the football in the fourth quarter, a chance to go take the lead. Now you turn it over. Your defense is going to have to go out there and step up for you. James Madison ready to go back on the attack. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. 
And the Dukes will hustle to the line. To the air, it's Morris. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man. -man. Everybody on an island. Everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. No Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Last time they had it, they put it on the deck. The football was not riveted to their rib cage, Jesse. Need five points of pressure moving forward, no doubt. I'll tell you, they knew coming into this game that turnovers were going to be critical. They might give themselves a mulligan for that one, David, but that can't keep happening. Man, but don't change who you are and what you are. Don't get gun shy because of mistakes. I think that usually turns into more mistakes. So keep doing you, keep being aggressive. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. That's exactly what happened. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Makes the grab outside. It's Tucker. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And that play right there really shows you the trust between the quarterback and his wide receiver. They've obviously worked for hours all season long on these routes near the sideline. Nice throw. Great catch. The shot to clear is getting set on first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Vasco. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Listen, I know, I know DBs don't catch the ball real well, but to be a defensive back, it's one of the hardest positions in football. You gotta stay with these big, fast, wide receivers and then try to go track the football and make a play. Great job making a play for his team. Though. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Safe completion on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but's able to deliver a big completion for his offense. And the shot to clears are flying down the field give to the running back he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple defense did a really good job stringing that one out you got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding i'm going to spill that ball make sure it bounces outside out wide doesn't come downhill great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football
the gift to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. Sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. Hoping to help their kicker out with a few yards on third down, because from here, it will be a 58-yarder. Back to throw, it's Vasco. Makes a grab over the middle. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Third down, man. You'd think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. With this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobble him up behind the line of scrimmage. The shot that clears the line up to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Wants to throw on first down. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The Dukes racing to the line in the hurry up. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Throwing right. Got his man. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense lining up quickly. Grabbed behind the line, it's Thompson. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, they're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. And the Dukes will line it up on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves into position to win. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the ground with the counter. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. 
And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game can end. Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Shoots it to the left. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Well, that's another completion. This quarterback's on fire. I get it. He's thrown for over 200 yards in this game, but it's because he's got people helping him out. How about that incredible job diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in? Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time they throw the football. And this group of receivers, they are helping out their QB1. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Dropping back, it's Vasco. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with the W. Misses again. It's incomplete, and that's three in a row. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like... It's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. Here's a throw downfield late. Pulls it in on the left. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He needs to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. They'll line up for a second down play. On the ground with the counter. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. The defense will use a timeout here. There are 16 seconds left to play. And this one to bring us to a deadlock in the final moments. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. Field goal is good. Final minute of play. Guys, it's all tied up. Stage is set for some serious drop. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Makes a move. He's got an alley. He's going to get loose. He will score. Touchdown, Dukes. And that 
is exactly what you want from this offense. Take almost all the clock, execute, and now go out and take a lead by a touchdown. Great, flawless execution by this offense. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. He might have been looking just to set up his offense, but he put a touchdown on the board with that 92-yard return. They'll try to pin them back with this kickoff and then have the defense put the finishing touches on a win. Here's the return from inside his tent. He'll be stopped right there, desperately trying to stay on his feet, pull out a little heroic move, but that's going to do it as this game is over.